be surprised to all uh, we made a video just a few minutes ago, a minute ago and a Muslim he posed this uh, answering about Allah said I will lead uh, them astray and Satan uh, said I will lead them astray so he said in here in Job 12 chapter 12 verse 24 25th that uh, the God of the Bible saying that he will make those people lose their way in the wilderness is that from Satan too you know the silly thing about Muslims they do not need, know even how to read as usual this is was a punishment not lead them astray from guidance for knowing God this is was a punishment for what they did they are already lost so this is was a punishment and actually just to show you how ignorant you are Abdul the same story your prophet he have it in the Quran he copied it from the Bible but he you know for sure he missed up uh, the story upside down but if we go and read the verse in the in the Bible we will see the following all what those verses you are talking about speaking about in a very simple way that God he you know he reward people or he punish people as an example the Bible speak about the people of Lot how God destroy uh, this nation he burn it God speak about the flooding of Noah he destroyed them but nowhere it says that God misguide them from knowing him what you are trying to play in games and hear about those verses saying that uh, uh, God he inc increase the, the, the strengths of nations or he destroy them well this is what the Muslims believe too and this is a punishment not it's a react not an act which mean uh, as an example I will speak about the nation of, uh, of Israel when Israel they disobey God or what God do he take his protection away from them he do not need really to destroy them by destroying them by himself or what he need just to let them with our protection so nations around them they will do what they want to do in the same time in here you will see that uh, <coughs> when he punished them even their wise men because like this is a story about the Jews they will be lost their way in the wilderness uh, even the wise man he will not be able to guide them and find them the way to find the cities the location not about finding God you, you see how silly the Muslims this is not about God is misleading you not to know him this is about a punishment for what you did if they did not do bad he will not punish them if they are going doing good with him he will not punish them the same as you will go to heaven or to hell so in here this is was a punishment I will show you the same story from your Quran Abdul and then you can laugh at your God if you don't believe in your Quran here we go chapter and by the way this chapter is extremely important because chapter 5 verse number 21 when the Muslims speak about Israel and how injustice the Israeli are and by the way I, uh, I have a big chapter in my uh, in my book about uh, Israel uh, you will see it in the back of the cover you know this is the Israeli flag uh, the chapter is speaking about that the Muslims if they knew what their God said they should support Israel because it is Allah who according to, to, to the Quran he is the one who created the nation of Israel he is the one who created the state of Israel and not only that Allah himself he order the Jews to kill the Palestinian no kidding you can see all of that with the reference in my book you can go and get it but for now we will see a little bit of it so we can uh, enlighten you and guide you as long we are we are talking about this chapter so in here <coughs> Allah he order uh, uh, the Jews to go and kill the Palestinian and he told them this is the Holy Land it's ordained for you assigned for you you can read any translation if you don't want big tell uh, you know you can go to uh, uh, Yusuf Ali any of those potatoes uh, because all of their translation by the way is nothing but a lie uh, don't ever trust an Islamic translation read it no problem you know uh, we use it just to be to, to beat them with it because even with the first translation still we can show you the truth even if they try to cover the truth 
here we go Allah is ordering the Jews he told Moses to tell his people to go and enter the holy land which Allah he assigned into you and he's saying don't ever leave it this is yours don't ever turn your back this is yours so the Jews they refused to go and kill the Palestinian isn't it amazing the Jews they refused to kill, to kill the Palestinian so Allah he get angry from them for they refuse you know they told Moses okay you know what we will not fight those people we will not kill them we will not take their land go and tell your God to fight for you you know don't you have God and your God told you this okay why does God want us to kill people let us you know go and uh, let your God you know give us the land without fighting why wanna fight huh and look in here it says Allah this land is for you Allah gave it to you and he gave you exceeding, exceeding strength never shall uh, you know and, and they said to, to Musa sorry uh, this land this people they, they are strong and we, sh we, we will never enter this land enter they leave it so they will not enter enter what enter the Palestinian leave look how nice the Jews are very beautiful unbelievable so because the Jews they refuse to kill the Palestinian and they refuse to enter the land according to the story of the Quran I'm not talking about the Bible now because they refuse to enter the land and because they refuse to kill the Palestinian what Allah he did look what he did he made them lose their way in the wilderness for 40 years do you see it so according to your Quran Abdul this is a story which is a punishment this is a react from Allah not an act which means because they refused to obey him he punished them the story in the Bible is not the same the story in the Quran because simply your Quran is copying from us but always Muhammad he corrupt the story the story you quote for us for me from Job it was a punishment not an action it's a reaction which means because they are lost because they are bad he punished them this is not about misguiding them this is not about fooling them this is not about he is not uh, going to make them see the truth no God for God he loved the world he sent his only begotten son he loved the whole world he want everybody to be guided not like your God in the Quran he sent people astray so as you see in here guys actually the Jewish in here in this story they are cursed they are cursed because they refuse to kill the Palestinian imagine now in a base in this story if we ask the Muslims a very simple uh, logic uh, question if it is not fair to kill the Palestinian and by the way the Muslims in, in what they call Palestine now those are not the Palestinian the only Palestinian there is the Christians because remember the Muslims they occupy this land by Umar al Khattab before that almost in the seventh century before that not even one Arab not even one Muslim live in that area it was a pure either Jews Roman Christians Palestinian Christians all who came Hamas and those people you know and those uh, Yasser Arafat you know uh, those are not from this land they have nothing to do with it they hijack the land and hijack the name they occupy Iraq they call themselves Iraqi but all of us we knew Iraq be belonged to the Babylon they occupy Egypt they call themselves Egyptian but the fact all of us we knew that the Arab are not not African the Egyptian are African what the Arab have to do with this they occupy Morocco they call themselves Moroccan but they are not Morocco be you know be, be belong to the Amazigh Amazigh be belong to the barbarian have nothing to do with the Arab they are African and here we go again Allah he ordered the Jews to kill the Palestinian and when a Muslim speak to you about the injustice of Israel this is what you need to do remember this in chapter 5 verse 21 tell him so how and why Allah he ordered the Jews to take a land which is called assigned into them assigned this is not my translation this is Yusuf Ali translation enter the Holy Land it's assigned to you Jews Allah made a mistake in here did Allah made a mistake Muslims you know 
the Muslim they say Allah he knew the future will this this story prove that Allah do not know the future because Allah gave them the land and he assigned the land to them and he created a war until now because if Allah he knew that this land one day is going to be uh, there's Muslims in it why he's ordered those Palestinians as he claimed the, the Quran uh, uh, he, he want them to be killed then why he's ordering the Jews to kill them don't he knew the future that those people will be uh, Muslims and why Allah did not give them a land which is an empty one you know at that time there's a lot of empty land there's a lot of empty land do you know, like can you imagine what the population at the time of Moses was for the for the earth nothing 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 okay well you know not, not a big deal you can find them any empty spot in this earth and give them the land but Allah and the Quran he chose to give them this land and he called it the holy land which is assigned to the Jews and then when they refuse and he ordered them even not to turn back which means this land you take it and don't leave it forever you enter it you stay in it forever now look at this stupid religion for the Jews did not kill the Palestinian Allah punished them if the Jews kill the Palestinians Allah will love them <laughs> So, if you want to ask why this happening, the story is should be asked as this: Why the stupid Allah, he made such a war started? Why he did not give them, according to the story in the Quran, a land which belonged to no one? And why your God Allah, as long as you Muslims believe that the Israeli are being unfair by taking that land? Why your God Allah? did not give them different land and why he ordered them to take that land same time by the way uh, the story of the Palestinian owning that land Palestinian was exist yes but not in Israel all of us we knew that the one who built Jerusalem it was David not the Palestinian Palestinian was exist in the in, in the around area but they never built those cities those cities belong to the Jews everybody know that it's not a secret the Bible mentioned that the territory of Gaza this is where was the Palestinian used to live but they had nothing to do with Jerusalem or other towns around so uh, 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 what we prove in this video I want to say thank you to this Muslim for you know because now you made me make one more video you know that's great that's Allah is the problem the war today between the Israeli and the Palestinian who claim to be Palestinian they are not the real one as I said the real Palestinian is the Christians the Palestinian Christians those are not Arab even today some Palestinian they might say Palestinian Christian they might say oh we are Arab because they live under 1400 years of occupation they have no other choice before Islam entered this land they never spoke an Arabic word never not even one of them they speak Aramaic Aramaic they are not Arab so the problem the invasion the occupation it was because of Allah and Allah is a murderer he is the one who destroyed this nation according to the Quran he is the one who ordered the Jew to take the land he is the one who punished the Jew for 40 years they cannot find their way just because they refuse to kill the Palestinian as we see in chapter 5 verse number 26 and by this I think we answered the question thank you very much Abdul may Allah give you 72 Hori's uh, sorry 72 Hori's with the three boobs each Allah bless you thank you